All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, do you guys remember what we read about last week? Anyone? Mm. What happened last week? Who was in our story? Yeah. Caleb, who was in our story? Be very quietly said. God. Okay. <laughs> All right. And what did God do in our story? What? Yes, God made the world. Do you remember our verse? In the beginning, God made the everything. It was very, very good. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So today we're going to read out. Um, about it after that. Miss Erin read a little bit of that. Do you yes. remember what she read? What did the, what did the people do? Uh, okay. That's okay. Miss yeah, Aaron, picture? Sure? That picture. Yeah. What do you guys see? Yeah, who do you Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Yeah. yeah. And it's, and it's really, really pretty, pretty, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, and there's the, the flowers. The flowers. Yeah. And I have a few more pictures. Look how happy they look. Yeah. Yeah. Butterflies. Yeah, yeah, God, God made it all, all of that great, great stuff. stuff. Butterflies, butterflies and flowers, and flowers and people. And everything, and everything was, was great, great and perfect, perfect right? right? We did, we did the color yellow, uh, like it's gold, shiny, and heaven, and happy, and everything was great. Can you guys show me your happy face? Where's your happy face? I love it. Great job, guys. Okay, so now we're going to find out what people did after God made everything, after everything was perfect, and we were all happy. Of all the animals, the most cunning was the snake. One day, the snake said to Eve, why don't you eat from the tree of knowledge? The fruit is delicious and won't harm you. God doesn't want you to eat it because it will make you wise like him. Take a bite. What do you think they should do? Should they listen to the snake? No. No, why not? No. no. Why not? No. I mean, it's just fruit. You think they shouldn't listen to the snake? No. Who should they listen to? Because they do God. The fruit looks so delicious that Eve picked some and offered some to Adam too, and they both ate. At once, they realized they were naked and tried to cover themselves with leaves. Uh oh. So everything was great and happy before they ate the fruit, and now things aren't so great and happy, are they? Yeah. Yeah, they realize, uh-oh, they're naked. They have to go find some clothes. God was very angry. Can you show me your angry face? Oh, good angry face, Waryong. Josiah, Ryan, good. I like those angry faces. Abel's not really ready to make those faces yet. All right, so God was very angry. He cursed the snake and sent Adam and Eve away. He told them that from now on, they would have to work hard to make their own food and clothes. Then he placed an angel with a flaming sword to stand guard at the entrance to the garden. It's not so happy and perfect anymore, is it? Not really. Why, why do, you, do you guys know why God sent them away? So they can't work, so they can eat the food, and then God told them not to eat it. Ah, they didn't listen to God. Do you yeah. know, one of the words we use to describe God is holy. That means yeah. perfect and better than everything. If we don't listen to God, we're not being perfect, are we? 
No. There's another story about some other people who also didn't listen to God. You guys see this? What are they doing? They are fighting. <gasps> yes. Fighting isn't a very good thing to do either, is it? You will get in trouble. Mm -hmm. You guys ever fight with your brother or sister? No. <gasps> Never? What? You never Ryan fight Diesel. with your brother and sister? Mm -mm. <laughs> I think we have some fibbers here. All right, so we're going to read about Cain and Abel. These guys are brothers. Adam and Eve had two sons. Cain was a farmer who worked in the fields, and Abel was a shepherd. One day, Cain and Abel both brought offerings to God. Do you guys know what offerings are? Just a coffee. Does anyone know what an offering is? No. Yes. What's an offering? An offering is an. Then... Hey, have we had the board yet? An offering. You get to God. Something that you get to God. Yes, it's like a present that we give to God. Um, it can be a thank you present, or it can be an I'm sorry present. But yeah, it's something that we give to God. So Cain and Abel both brought their offerings to God. And Abel brought the very best meat he could. And God was pleased, but he wasn't so pleased with the crops that Cain had brought. Have you ever drawn a picture that you really liked and your brother or sister drew a picture that that they worked really hard on too, and maybe your mom or dad liked that one better? Yeah, I did that one. Yeah? So God didn't think there was anything bad about Abel's offering, or about Cain's offering. He liked Cain's offering too, he just liked Abel's better. How did you feel when your mom and dad liked, liked your sibling's picture better? Yeah, thank you. Did it make you happy? Or did it make you happy? Yeah. 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 Kind of sad, yeah? Yeah. So Cain, he's more than just sad. He was so jealous uh, of his brother. Can you show me an angry, jealous face? Uh, an angry face. He's so mad that God doesn't like his best. Yeah. Good, angry face for the young. So Cain was so jealous of his brother that he went out with him into the field and killed him in a fit of anger. When God asked where Abel was, Cain answered rudely, how should I know? Am I my brother's keeper? Is that no. what we're supposed to do when we get mad? Because if we get mad, if we get uh, mommy, dad, daddy, get mad, then we say sorry. If we, then if we go time out, if we don't listen to God, then God will just take us away to and let us work. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you if you don't, if your mom and dad tell you that. and you don't do it, then they will be mad at you and they will say sorry. Yeah, but you know what? In this story, Cain didn't say he was sorry. He yeah. was so mad, and instead of just being a little mad. Instead of just being upset and stomping around, he was so mad that he hurt his brother and he killed his brother. And then when God asked him about it, instead of saying sorry, he was just still mad at God. God saw Abel's blood on the ground and was angry. He punished Cain and sent him far away from his home and his family. Is that the way that God made us and wanted us to be? Yeah. Angry no. and sent away from our family? Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Do you know what color yeah. that is? Do you know what color that's going to be in our um in our colors? Do you remember yeah. what color before? What yeah. color is a very yeah. sad color? Yeah. Very mean or dirty. Mm -hmm. We're going to use Black. Yeah. Yeah, daddy's blue and my daddy's blue. Exactly. He knew what our color was going to be today. Yeah. I don't so, know. Are our, I don't hearts, know. are our hearts supposed to be black inside? 
there's black in mine. Yeah, on your shirt. There you but go. is there supposed to be black inside our hearts? No. 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 Yeah, yeah they're supposed to be red and happy and full of life. Yeah, only red should be in your heart. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but when we sin, we when we choose not to do what God oh, wants us to do, that's when our heart turns black and it's full of meanness and full of what we want instead of what God wants for us. So I have a question for you. What Cain did was really bad, right? He killed yeah. his brother. But Adam and Eve, they just ate a piece of fruit. That wasn't so bad, was it? What do you think? It was good. It was good. Nope. Mm. God still kicked him out of Eden. I think it was good. Mm-hmm. So God says that anytime we choose not to listen to him, that's a sin. Whether it's something that we think is not very bad, like eating the fruit, or something that we think is extra it's, bad, like killing our brother. It's not, it's so bad because if mm -hmm. we, it's so bad because we, if we eat this apple, then it make us really mad. And then God would send them away to work for them. And they yeah. didn't miss it. Yeah, God sent them away. Yeah. But we don't want to be sent away from God, do we? We want to get to stay with God. Yeah. So yeah. whether it's something really big and bad or, or if it's something that we don't no. think is all that bad, anytime that we don't listen to God, that's a sin. That's something that, that makes God very sad and that hurts his heart. And that means that we don't have... We're not like best friends with him anymore. We're not getting to hang out with him all the time anymore. So I have a question for you guys. Have you ever been to Six Flags and tried to ride a roller coaster? Have you guys um, ever been to Six Flags? I, 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 didn't, I don't have a roller coaster. Yeah. Have you ever been to Six Flags though? Or Disneyland or somewhere else? I have a roller coaster. No, I, no, I don't have a roller coaster. Are you tall enough to ride the roller coasters? Are you tall no. enough? Are you too short to ride the roller coasters? Yeah, because if we grow up, then we can ride no. it. Yes, when you get bigger, it. when you grow up. But yeah. you're not tall yeah. enough to do it yet, are you? Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. If, we, if we grow then, then we had to, then we can go roller coaster, but this be so fun. But yeah. if we, again. Yeah. Yes, that'll be really fun when you're tall enough. So you know what? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but uh, if you're on a roller coaster, your dad and mom and your sister mm -hmm. will be on with you. Yeah, they get to go too if they're tall enough. Yeah. So this is like um, sin and listening to God is that right now we're too short to ride the roller coaster. And God is so um. tall, he gets to always ride the roller coaster. But you know what? Because God is so perfect and we are... We're not very perfect, are we? No. In a lot. We do things that God doesn't want us to do. No. So we're never going to get to be as, as tall. We're not, in this in this story, we're never going to get to be as tall as God. Because of the blackness in our hearts. Because of our sin. Okay? So, God did something special about that, though. We're going to read about that next week. Okay? Are you guys ready for our memory verse for today? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. So today our verse is all people have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Pay that attention. means that, what is sin again? Do you guys remember what the word sin means? Sin means you do bad voices. That if you do play with this, that if you, if you do bad choices, then you can do something wrong if you play with your wife's sister. Yeah, yeah, when we do something wrong. Mm -hmm. So like when we get our hands really dirty, we have to, we can't eat it until we wash our hands, right? So our hands are really dirty with sin. Next week we're going to learn how God helps us wash our hands and get all that yucky stuff. Yeah. You guys want to do the verse with me? Let's do it. Come on. Yeah. You ready? Okay. The first part is yeah. for all people. Can you show me all the people? 
Oh, oh, people. People. oh, people. oh people. people. Sending is really bad, right? Attention. Not good. I said. All no. people have sick. All people have sick. All people have Good job, guys. And they come short. Remember, we're not telling for the roller coaster. That sin means we're not we're not good enough. All right, have come short of God's glory. A God glory. Yeah. You guys want to do that together? Yes. You ready? All right. I love your enthusiasm, more young. Thank you. All right. For all. For all. Sin and fall short. And fall short. God, 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 glory. God, God, glory. Should we wiggle our fingers to show how awesome it is? Would that show glory better? You like that? Yeah. yeah I think so too. All right. So this is from Romans three twenty three. Let's do it one more time together. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. One. Two, three. For all people have sinned and fall short of God's glory. Now, now, so that's a really sad thing, isn't it? That sin means we can't get to hang out with God. Um, so next week, we're going to learn what awesome thing God did to make that all better. Because he doesn't, he doesn't want things to stay bad like that, right? He loves us and he wants, he wants to get to hang out with us again, right? Yeah. For me. Yeah. Yes. 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 Hey, I have a special project for you guys. You know how Micah showed our memory verse this morning in our church service? We need someone else to show our memory verse from today. Can one of you record yourselves doing the verse this week? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you can record yourself um, doing our verse, you can send it to uh, Ying and we'll put it in our video for next week and show everyone what we learned today. Does that sound good? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're, um, I'm going to, when we post this video online, we're also going to include lots of fun activities you guys can do to keep the story going all week long. Okay. We've got some songs and some coloring activities and different projects. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Can, before we go, um, can you guys tell me what happened in our story today? Um, because it's great, it's the food and the table snakes come, and then they bring listen to God, so they I don't want to eat, eat that food. Uh, they didn't listen to God. He did what he said not to do. And what did God do because of that? Uh, because it said it did, God, God was so mad at them because mm -hmm. he did want them to eat the food because sin. Yeah, he was, so he, he was so mad at them because it broke his heart. They didn't listen to him. And yeah, and mm -hmm. And what about the second part of our story? Do you remember what happened there? Yes. What happened? Like, yeah, he fought his brother and not obey God. That's right. He fought his brother. He didn't obey God. Do you think that hurt God's heart too? No. no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime that we sin, anytime that we don't listen to God, anytime that we do what we want to do instead of what God wants us to do, that hurts his heart.
Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's very important to do right now. And always do that. Yeah, so like I said earlier, remember how if we get our hands dirty, we have to wash them before we eat, right? Yeah, if you don't, then they was many, and then you had to go to the, to the, to the hospital. Yeah, so sin is like that. Sin is like when we get germs all over our hands. And next week, we're going to read about how God washes our hands for us so everything can be clean and healthy again. Yeah, if you don't wash your hands, then everything will, if you touch mm -hmm. everything, then, then, okay. then, yeah, yeah, yeah. then everything will go yes. smelly. Yes, it'll be very bad. All right, what can we pray for this week? We can pray for our family. Mm -hmm. For them to be healthy? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, oh my, and stay home. My, and oh my Yes, oh my, for oh my grandma and grandpa and my uncles. All right, we can do that. Pray for grandma and grandpa and uncles, and and your grandpa. We 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 do sins too, don't we? Yeah. We do things that God doesn't want us to do. Huh? Can we tell God that we're sorry for those? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you guys do you remember what we do when it's time to pray? Yes. Yeah, we put our hands yes. together. Bow our hands our, together. And close our eyes and bow your head. Yeah, so we don't get distracted by anything. Are you guys ready? Okay. Dear God. Dear God. Thank dear you God. for letting us have story time today. Thank you for having us story today. Please keep our grandma and grandpa and uncles safe. Please keep our grandma and uncles safe. We're sorry for when we do bad things. What we do that day? Are you we do bad things? Please help us not to sick. Please help us not to get sick. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. All right. So next week, we're going to come back again together, and we'll read about all the awesome stuff that God did to make our sin go away. Sound good? Yes. Yes? Yes. I can't and also obey God and make sure you wash your hands. Yes. Everybody wash your hands this week. Yeah, and make sure you get them clean. Yes, make them clean, just like God is going to make our hearts clean. <laughs> Yes. All right. We'll see you guys next week at two for our next story time. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.